Hey, hey, hey. We are about to now talk about how to construct a confidence interval using our calculators. So, I need you to go to the problem that we did on the previous um, video, which is page 8 of your notes. Now, I need you to read over this to familiarize yourself with the situation. And... The notes before, remember we talked about it was a step before step process. You state, you plan, you do, you conclude. But the purpose of this video is to do the do portion, which is the calculation. Remember, this is our yucky formula in which we know we have p hat, which is determined from this, the, um, the 392 divided by the 799. And I have that value right here, and I've done the math on it. Okay, times Z star. Remember, Z star is based on that 95% confidence interval. And it is going to be 1.96 from our chart. And our P hat again, probability of it happening minus the probability of it not happening for the sample size. So we have all of this. And we could do this in the calculator in terms of by hand, but there's an easier way. So pull out your 83 or your 84 whichever one you want. Okay, I'm going to be going back and forth with the calculators. So, okay, I want you to press STAT. Let's follow these directions. Go over the test and then go down to letter A or press letter A. Then you press ENTER. And you'll notice that it is the same thing on this other calculator on my 83. Yeah, I've got values in there, but we'll deal with that later, okay? Because I'm just going to type over these. Now, let's remind ourselves as I go over here that, that that P hat is X over N. So let me wipe this out for a minute. Okay, so X over N, and that represents, like I said, the P hat. Remember, P hat represents the probability of... Um, the sample size. And we're going to put these values in exactly as we see. So we're going to be typing in 392, enter, then 799, enter. We're going to type in our confidence interval, which happens to be 95%, and then we're just going to press enter. So there was a pause. So I'm not exactly sure where I was. The bell rang, and yeah. Okay, so. Let's put this in this other calculator so you can see it works exactly the same. So it's 392, enter, 799, enter. You've got the same confidence interval. You calculate, and you can see the values are the same. It gives you the P hat, does the math for you of the 0.491. It gives you the sample size of 799, which reiterates it. But check out this confidence interval. And you can see it's the same regardless of the calculator. And more specifically, check out the confidence interval that we had from before. Okay? So, please recognize two things. It does not give you Z star, and you're going to have to always find the Z star. So you're going to have to do that on your own via the chart. Okay? Also recognize here that... You still have to go through your steps. State, plan, including your conditions and assumptions, and conclude. And the other thing I was going to say to you is, remember, you still have got to have either the naked formula and then on the side defining what everything is, or have this formula right here. So note, the calculator does the work for us, does the math for us, helps us to not have to deal with this mess but you still are going to have to do all of the, um, you're still going to have to show the math, even though the reality is you don't have to do the math. Okay, so TTFM, ta-ta for now.